Good afternoon everyone, it's Sheila here in Boho Daydreams. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend. Um, I think our weather is all very, very confused. The last time I talked to you, we were having blizzards and then we were having rainstorms and now it feels like summer outside with a blizzard on the mountain. It is very confusing and it is very hot here in the Salia as a result. It was cold this morning, so I had to make a fire, and now it feels like I'm in the tropics. Anyway, I have been asked um, by several people if I will make a tutorial on how I create my little bead dangles. Oops, that one's not. How I create these. And when you look at them, they just look like little bead dangles but there's so many components to them. Um, so I'm just gonna go through a list of things that I use, and then we're going to go from there. So I will use a selection of beads, and you've all seen my, my artisan beads, and a lot of those are old. Well, I wouldn't say old, but I've had them for many, many, many years. I've had a lot of these beads for many years. So I don't really know where they all come from. Um, I still look for them when I see them. If I see somebody, you know, selling off their, their bead supplies, I look, see if they have any unique beads, and then I will, I'll buy those. They're generally um, a little bit pricey, um, but they're beautiful and they're glass and you can decorate them up to be spectacular. Um, so we've got some beads here. I've got kind of a selection of beads here that we're going to look at. We're going to, this is, this is a Joann's bead, a Joann's or a Michael's bead. And so we're going to take that bead and make it amazing. Um, we'll do one of these, the little heart. We'll do one of those and maybe we'll do one of these. We'll see. We'll see how my time goes. I don't want to make this long. For a lot of you who already are um, very adept to making beads and bead dangles and whatnot, this probably isn't for you. Give me a thumbs up because I warned you in advance. Anyway, I'm just going to go through a few things that I use. I use bead caps and I use all, size, all sizes. And I am... Um, I'll just show them to you like this. See, they're all sizes. And what I do when I get my bead, bead caps, I dump them all into one box. They all go into the same box, so I kind of have to like sort my way through. Because for what I'm doing, I don't need anything to be symmetrical or to match. I just grab them, try them, try them again, and see if it works. And making my little dangles, I've gotten faster at it, but it's kind of like uh, matching a pair of shoes to a shirt, and then matching the shirt to the skirt, and then deciding, oh, the shoes now need to match the skirt, and then you pull everything off and start again and mix and match and until you're finally happy. So that's what it's like when I make these little, little beaded dangles. So I showed you the bead caps. I also have some of these, and I got these a very long time ago. Um, and they came in a large package, and they were so small, I didn't know I, what I would ever do with them because they're so very tiny. Um, but they work perfectly for this. So I have some of those. I have some of the little metal, little metal gold balls and I love these. These are a little bit expensive but I love them. I love, love, love them. Uh, where do we go? There. Then I have some of these metal spacer beads and these are also old. Um, so they're kind of kind of elliptical maybe. Look like a flying saucer. And what you're looking for is uniqueness and when they get put together, you have hills and waves and sparkle and shine. And then when you've got it all together and tied off, it's amazing. Um, I have some of these that I use. 
So I just grabbed a few of those. They're the ones that have the little Julie pieces on the side. I don't know where I got all of these from. I think some of these are actually uh, the spacer beads in between the big beads um, when, you bought, when you shop at Michael's or Joanne's. And then I also have some Swarovski crystals. And these are a little more pricey too. So I've got two sizes here. And I don't know what my sizes are. I just know one's bigger than the other. Um, and it just depends. And it depends. I don't use two crystals on a bead generally. Sometimes I do if I need a little more sparkle factor. But generally I don't. But it just depends which bead caps I use. What you'll need is some wire. And this is just a regular 20 gauge wire. And then I think this one here, this is a 22 gauge wire. And it doesn't matter as long as it's strong enough to hold up to the making of the bead. Then you'll need some snippers and pliers. So I have a needle nose pliers, it's rounded nose. And then I have a needle nose that is flat. Um, and, they, and, and these are essential tools. I also have two different uh, wire cutters here. Um, because I always lose my wire cutters, there I always have two pairs. So what I'm going to do is grab one of these beads and go from there. So I think maybe I will start with, I'm going to start with this one. All right, so I need a piece of wire and I have one here, but I don't know if that one's going to be long enough. So I'm going to grab another piece and make it longer. Let's see which is which here. This must be. And I hope that I'm going to stay in camera. And if I don't stay in camera, because my camera shows me I'm in camera, and then after I upload it, I see, oh wow, that was not in camera. Please just give me gentle feedback. Um, not harsh feedback. We, no, nobody likes the harsh feedback. We, learn, we all learn better through kindness, right? So I take that and I make a nice little circle on the bottom and I'm not wearing glasses, so sometimes my circles don't exactly look like circles. So I have a nice little circle and then I try and bend it straight. There. See, it's nice and straight. Am I in camera? Yes. That way the beads are gonna go on straight I might need to later clamp this a little bit, but we'll see what happens. All right, so first I want to grab one of these little, these little gold balls. I put that on the bottom. And keep, I put it on the bottom, and I just wanna make sure that I'm nice and straight. And I, I feel like I am straight. So let's see, what do I want next? Let's see some of my examples here of what I did. Well, I know what I want. I want either a crystal next or I want my little flying saucer type of bead next. Yes, that is what I want. Let me see. I'm gonna pop that on, see if we've got kind of, yeah, it's good. It's got some symmetry there. All right, so let me see, what do I want next? Next I want, it has a bead cap on it, I want, I want my own bead cap. I want something that sparkles more. So let me see this one. Let's see this one here. I want more sparkle. Yes. See, maybe yes. Mm, maybe no. I don't know. Let me see. Let's see if I have a different one. Maybe I need a bigger one. Maybe I don't have a bigger one. And this is what I mean, you do a lot of this. There's a lot of this, yeah, I like this one better. It covers up more of that gold, but I still love that there's a little bit of it kind of sticking out from the bottom. All right, so what are we gonna do next? Um, let's see, I'm gonna grab this. Yes. And see, if I don't like it at any point, then I pull it back off. Everything comes back off and we start all over again. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put one of these on. Do I like that one? No, I don't even like that bead cap, so let's get a different bead cap going here. 
Yes. All right, so let's pop that on now. Hmm. Do I want maybe a silver one? And there's no rules. You can mix and match your golds and silvers. It's not a big deal. All right, I'm going to pop this one on upside down. Let me see how that looks. Ew, that's pretty. All right, but I don't like that bead cap. Let me see. Let me see here. This one. Mm, no, that one's too tiny. Let's see. Oh, yes. Look at that. See, I took another tiny little bead cap and I popped it on there. Now I want... I want a crystal. I want a crystal. Let's see. Let's see if I'm in... Let me see if I'm even in screen. Oh, <laughs> this is where I need my glasses. And forgive the fingernails. There was some wood cutting that went along. Okay, so this is really pretty. But um, that, that crystal is just sitting too low. So if the crystal is sitting too low, but the crystal is a good size, I take one of these little uh, spacer pieces there, tiny ones, and I pop it in there and see if it sits higher. Yes. The struggle is real. Do I like that? Let me see. Do I like it? I do like it. But then I say, okay, well, let me see what it looks like with a bigger, with a bigger crystal, because I might like that even better. And I, uh, uh, I think I like this better. I think I like that one better. Okay, so I can leave it at this, just like that, because it's perfect. Or I can decide that I want to put another little gold thing on top. Oh, yes. The struggle is real without glasses. Let's see. Oh, I, I really like that. That is not too much. If you can see that, that is not too much. Sometimes it is. If the bead is too skinny, it's too much. All right, so now I want to get this pliers, this one, and I want to make sure I am bending in the same direction as that. Because it doesn't matter. It just, to me, kind of, it matters. And then I make a little loop on top, like that. And it was, I was like this. And I'm very right-handed, so now I went and turned it around so that I can put it into my other hand. And I can pull this, and this is a softer wire, so it's very easy for me. Sometimes I use half-hard wire. And then I, then I can't do that. Then I have to use a pliers. And then I just go around with my little pliers like this until it's tight. And you have to be careful because if you're making it too tight, it will, this little um, end here will undo itself. And then I just take my little snipper nippers and get as close as I can, cut it off. There we go. This is just a Joann's or Michael's bead, but look how beautiful it looks all dressed up. Let's see here, whoops. And this is gonna go on a package. Look how pretty that is. I love it. So there's one. Okay, so let's do, oh, let's do the little heart because that one kind of is a little bit trickier because of the way it sits, because it's got that corner. All right, so make a nice little, and this is, this is harder wire because I, I can already feel it. So I made a loop, which I wasn't in camera for, but it's the exact same loop as what we made on the first one. So let's see, I am gonna grab one of these. I want one of these little, little things, little circles, and they're metal, 
and I don't know what size they are or where they came from because I've had them for a long time. Then I want, let's see, I'm going to put a crystal on because, well, they're so pretty. And then I'm going to pop that on. See how that looks. Uh, it's a little bit too long. Um, let me see, what do I have in here? Where's my other box of them? Here. Okay, well, do you know what? I don't have it here. So, let's see. I'm going to pop on one of these. I'm going to put on the little elliptical one. The one that looks like flying saucer. And then I also want a tiny little, one of those little ones. Yeah, like that. I need to make sure it's nice and straight. And see if this is tiny enough. This might be a little bit too big yet. Mm, no, that's perfect. That is very perfect. All right, so this one's a little bit trickier. Oh, that's my little secret too. So what I did is I found another tiny little one. Well, first of all, this is what I've tried. And this is very pretty too. I did. I just did this. And it looks really pretty and I topped it off with just a little like that and it was very pretty. I've done that before, but I don't want to do that now because I want to do I, I want to do the other one. The other way that I just discovered, but I might not have a tiny enough one. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so what I did to that corner, I took a little bead cap, my tiny, tiny bead cap, and I turned it upside down. And it just kind of sits there and it kind of looks normal. Looks like it belongs there. And then I put a little crystal on it. But do I want that crystal or do I want a bigger crystal? That's the conundrum. I like the bigger ones for this. Yes. I like the bigger ones for this because they just show up a little bit more and you need that little extra sparkle. But I don't know. So I have to take this back off again. I wonder, and I've never done this before, if I put a little ball on here first, if I put this on, and then put my bead on, how would that look? See, this is, oh, I like that. I like that. So that's what I'm doing. That's what this one's getting. So I've been asked if I will sell my little prepared beaded dangles, the ones that are my, my artisan dangles. And I will. I will sell them. But as you can see, all the different components here to one bead is not, you know, is not cheap. And so um, I decided that, okay, I just thought of something here. So we're going to do this first. We're going to tie this off first before we go any further. So I haven't done that before. So I'm going to try one of these here. See if that, see if that is pretty. Get all my bits and pieces back. Oh, oh, I don't know. Mm. I don't think so. Let me see. And this is how it works, you know, and you just try, you know, all these different things because I have so many things in my arsenal to use. Oops, let's see. That kind of gives it a, oh right, I'm gonna take that off. I have so many things in my arsenal to use because, well, I just collected so much stuff. No, I don't think I like that as much. Let me see. Oh, it is pretty. It's very pretty. I might not need that spacer there. It's all about seeing what you've got going on, right? 
Um, I like I like this. I like it a lot, but I feel like I would need to have a bigger a bigger ball there. So I'm going to take that off. And um, don't give me thumbs down because I'm undecided what I'm doing because I'm just doing this for you exactly how I would do it for me. This is how this is how I work. And so seeing all the little ways that I, I do things um, should help in how you uh, think and put your stuff together. You know, of the things that you can use and put things together, right? So no thumbs down. I like it. I think I really like that. Okay, I'm tying that one off. That one is getting a tie off. And remember, we're going in the same direction as what we did on the bottom. We need to use this pliers. Now you grab your little needle nose pliers and I'm right handed so I have to start like this. I pull it over but now I'm going to have to go to my left hand so I need it to go on the bottom. So I take and put the bottom through, turn it around so that way now I could again work with my right hand because I'm dominant that way. And this is a little bit tighter wire. It's heavier wire and it's thicker wire. It's a different type of wire, so I have to twist it around. It doesn't twist so easily, but I want it tight. I want it tight so that I don't have everything jostling all over the place. And this is good. This is good. See how that kind of stretched, stretched out a bit? It was a circle. It's because I made it so tight kind of pushed pressure on and kind of like made it not quite so round. Anyway, I think you probably have a good idea now of um, what it, what I do to make my beads and see it's a little bit off there. So I take and try and bend it a little bit straight because I like my beads straight. Now let's see what that looks like when it's hanging. It's beautiful. It looks beautiful when it's hanging. So now we have created two beautiful beads. Um, and they're not even, they're not even these beads. These are just, this is just a glass, some glass beads, some hearts that I had laying around. And this is something that I got from either Joann's or, um, or Michael's. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. If it's been helpful, leave a comment um, for me. I hope everyone has an amazing week ahead. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good night and God bless. Bye-bye.